Right, I went down there. There's no way down really. Um, I decided I will f do that track so I can feel like I've completed the whole thing. Uh, I think going down that bit is probably all right. And I, in one way, I would prefer to go back round there. But something tells me go the other way. So I've got to listen to what says inside. It's saying, go that way, Sheila, and go back down Holston track. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but... Uh, let's see which way they went. Yeah, go up here. Go up here, go. And you can always change your mind when you get up here if you want to go back down there with this one steep bit. We're going to have to be very careful, that's all. The rain will wash that away. Everyone here, you ought to turn it into a toilet, really, shouldn't they? <sighs> I'm still going back on the beach. I'd rather be doing this and driving home in a flat, even though I know I've got to rest. Me now. <sighs> Little slooplet. Probably on the way for Porlock Weird for lunch. But anything. Yeah, I've done slooping. That's where they are. Off to Porlock Weir for lunch. Could have come from Weston, see? Yeah, I don't fancy walking down that bit, even though it's not too bad. It's just one, one bit of it that is quite steep. I just don't fancy it. I don't know what this, I don't know what this entails yet. I've got to get up here. Look, there, are, there is a, almost steps, look. I'll go back down that. I don't really want to. It really hurts your feet. And then I'm going to be going down a gate somewhere along there. Might just be down the bottom of that actually, but I don't know how to find it. And then, um, God, it looks like I've got to climb up a bit here though, doesn't it? It's all part of the adventure, Shell. This is the rugged route that you didn't get directed to yesterday. I can't even see where it goes at the moment. I thought there was a path straight here. Yeah, there is one. All we're doing is following the top of this comb. It's okay if something you haven't done. Just take your time. At least you don't fall in the sea that way. A few broken bones and scratches if you fall that way. Well, if you hit your head, it's different. Break your neck and all that. Oh. Somebody knows another way. I reckon the path will broaden. So I've seen people walking out here. Is that them going back up it? God, they're coming back up, look. 
They're going back up it now. Bloody brave they are. Must be part of their training. I would never have been any good at that. I would never be any good at that because um, I have always had a bit of a breathing problem. I mean, I did. A, was born with a hole in the heart. I had a murmur for years and years and well, most of my life. And uh, they'll probably pass me again in a minute. I've got no idea if they are. They're going up that hill again. I don't even know if I'm on the right path. It might be a broader one. I've missed. Right, I've got to take my jumper off and walk. Right, there we go. I, the runners came back, they came this way. They didn't, obviously didn't come up through the gorse. I must, I seen them go over the top here. So I'm, there must have been another path that I hadn't seen. Let me see. I'm going to stop here and have a drink of water and a ripple. I'm going to see where they've gone. They went... They sort of went straight down the top. Well, where did they go? They went sort of over the top. And down. And they're carrying that weight as well. Right, I'm, a, I'm right up here on that hill we've seen earlier. There's no way I'm going down there now anyway. They'll be turning up down there in a minute. Just put it on. Well, I've been, I've been all over that. Here's Sheila, high five. I've been all over that, and there they are, they're down there again. They're down there again. That's good, isn't it? I don't know how they've done that. I'm not doing it. No, because I didn't like the bit down there for going downhill. But it's windy. Yeah, that's, that little yacht is making its way to Porlock Weir, look. There's Porlock Weir coming in. There's Porlock Weir. With the harbour and the boats, look. There's a little sailing ship coming home for lunch or a good, or a really good breakfast. Yeah, it's a different world where people have got a boat. The oceans and seas are their roads. They can just go wherever they want. It's scary though. So they've gone back down that way. Bless them. I'm going to go back up here and have a drink of water on this stone here. Then I'm going to walk back and I'm going down. I'm going to go down that again. I don't particularly want to, but... I'm going to go down there. Just get up here a bit. You can see this rock. I took pictures of it from up here. Now I'm on top of it. I'm on top of this rock. It's beautiful, isn't it? There's somewhere I can sit on here. I'm going to sit on this stone and have a nice drink of water. So here's Sheila. This is Sheila. I'll do a panoramic view. I'm on top of Helston Point. One of the big hills. Yesterday I walked all around from Minehead, all around these hills. Down Coombs, up Coombs, round Coombs. And today I've got this Bosington Hill where the 1942 US plane hit. I think it was US, it might have been RAF, I can't remember now. 
because uh, the US were always seem to be whacking into hills because they did over St. David's as well. Anyway, it's a good view here. If I may just, just zoom in on some of those hills over there that I did the other day. I need to investigate more of their names. 